suis un troller, et évidemment, je suis un troller. Putain, et salut YouTube. Euh, j'avais absolument pas cru que j'avais lancé le, la vidéo, donc ça fait pas deux fois que je refais l'intro. Euh, J'espère que tout le monde va bien. Voilà, on est dans le canapé. On est dans le canapé. Voilà, à partir de 19h pour la fin de stream. On sait qu'on va chill quand on est dans ce canapé. C'est le canapé chill, voilà. C'est le canapé chill. Et on va continuer The Conceal. Alors, je rappelle qu'on s'était quitté sur le fait qu'on a tué la satanique. Enfin, qu que tout le monde croit qu'on a tué la satanique. Parce qu'on avait choisi entre la satanique... On avait un choix entre la satanique et euh, la duchesse. La duchesse qu'on aurait pu... Hein Voilà, qu'on aurait pu tuer. Hein On aurait pu la casser en deux. Mais non, on a choisi la satanique. Et du coup, on se retrouve dans la merde. How many times must I tell you You must never put your life on the line for me. Mother has always had a fascination for Lord Mortimer, but has never wanted to tell me why. We are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. C'est la duchesse là. You is I'm looking for my sister. Do you believe your mother capable of torturing a child? An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. Your hand, Christophe von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs, and Jacques Perrou, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. You will find that Lord Mortimer is not what one would call conventional, Monsieur de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, I am arresting you for the murder of Elizabeth Adams. Voilà. Donc en gros, au lieu de choisir d'avoir du cul avec euh, la duchesse, hein, au lieu d'essayer de, 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 de faire du sale avec la duchesse, on a choisi la satanique et maintenant tout le monde pense qu'on est des, un meurtrier. Donc voilà, c'est quoi ça Alors, penser sur les hommes et la société ou l'encyclopédie. Ah, c'est des pages de manuscrits. Ok, on est à 1 sur 3. Ok. Donc, du coup, pensez sur l'art. Point de compétence en politique ou cosmographium. Les sciences. Allez, les sciences. Moi, j'aurais choisi les sciences. Donc, écoutez, on va démarrer ce, ce, le deuxième épisode. Enfin, du jeu, en tout cas. Mais pour nous, ça fait le troisième, je crois. Allez, c'est parti. C'est parti. Oh putain, je suis tellement posé là dans mon canapé. Bureau de Lord Mortimer. Ah, c'est une pièce qu'on est, on n'est jamais allé. Putain, le bureau, euh, gros. Euh... On est dans la merde. Is there nothing you want to say, Louis? I... It wasn't me. I, I, I didn't kill her. I... I'd much rather have met you under different circumstances. Lord Mortimer, believe me, I'm very conscious of the gravity of the situation. <laughs> Everything seems to point to me as the one who killed Elizabeth, but I swear I am innocent. Out of respect for your mother, rest assured that I do want to believe you. And all I want is to be able to prove it to you. When do we start? We already have. Tell me, Louis. How do you feel? I feel like a rat trapped in a maze. Interesting. I beg your pardon? Sarah also felt like she was trapped like an animal. Where are you going with this, my lord? Sarah's behavior grew odd before her disappearance. Her attitude changed. She became prey to outbursts of violence and a number of temporary absences. I'm just trying to make sure that you don't go getting lost like your mother did. You're not suggesting that I might have killed Elizabeth and that I don't remember, are you? I don't know, Louis. It's just that what with your mother and now you, it's rather a lot. The more I take stock of the situation, the more I'm under the impression that you've been set up. But, before going any further, I must inform you that Sir Gregory is about to arrive. He is coming to question you about the murder of poor 
Elizabeth, whom he was very fond of. He is quite determined to find the culprit, whomever they may be. So, convince him of your innocence. Then we can continue this conversation. Okay, so we can come here and talk to me. I would like to see you a moment before we begin. In private. Let's step outside a moment. Ah. Louis, this will only take a few moments. Well, we're in the sauce, huh? Là, clairement, on est dans la sauce. On est dans la sauce. Tout le monde pense qu'on a tué euh, euh, Elizabeth. La fille. Faut pas oublier que c'est la fille de, du vice-président des États-Unis. Hein. On va jouer à la sécurité. Hein. Ouais, je, je préfère jouer à la sécurité. Alors je sais que c'est pas, je fais pas le spectacle, mais bon. Good evening, Monsieur de Richer. Likewise, Sir Gregory. Well then, let us begin. Attends, lui, il a une Monsieur tête. de Richer, you were found standing over Miss Adams' body. We must shed some light on your responsibility in this tragedy. We shall then decide on your fate. But you must know. That if you do not convince us of your innocence, it will cost you dearly. Now you are going to tell us everything that happened last night without leaving any detail out. First things first. How did your evening begin? Duchess Hillsborough and I were returning to our rooms when Elizabeth came upon us. Oh. So you were with the Duchess? Yes, we were talking. We were walking up the stairs, and it was late. Where did you come from? Uh, I don't remember. Ah, j'ai peur de mentir. Ah. And we came from the small salon, I believe, and and then we were heading for our rooms when Elizabeth. Burst into the corridor, barely dressed. She was panic-stricken and insisted on speaking to me. So I found myself in Elizabeth's room. We sat down together. She insisted we have a drink, or she would refuse to confide in me. Hmm. What exactly did she want to speak about at such a late hour? There you go. She was panicked. She claimed she had just seen my mother on the island. Did she say where she saw her? Huh. I seem to remember something about cliffs. Okay, on a clutch parce que on n'a pas on n'a pas utilisé nos points parce que on a donné une bonne réponse. Next. Then she told me she had poured laudanum in my glass. The next minute I was on the floor. When I woke up, she was lying in a pool of blood. That is all you had to say. You expect us to believe that you have no idea what happened to her? Yes, because I'm telling you the truth. How can you possibly expect us to believe you? Gregory, we must consider every possibility. Mais du coup, est-ce qu'on doit convaincre Gregory ou pas Parce que là, si je regarde les fiches... Do you have any idea who could have done it? Non, là, c'est Mortimer maintenant qu'il faut que je... Oui, avez-vous la moindre idée de ce qui aurait... De qui aurait... Ah, je tentais de dire Washington. Je tentais de dire Washington. Ah, je sens que je vais le regretter. Je sens que je vais le regretter. Maybe Mr. Washington. Ah. But of course. And what would his motive be? I believe he thought Elizabeth was stillborn. Washington could have been trying to protect the secret of his vice president, Elizabeth's father. Sorry, Louis. But it so happened that Mr. Washington spent most of the time with Duchess Hillsborough. Ah, putain, faut que je réponde ma mère là, vraiment. Putain, mais les gens vont pas me croire. Well, even if I can't believe for a single instant that my mother could have murdered someone in that manner, 
she might have wanted to stop Elizabeth from speaking about their mutual past, and things might have turned nasty. It is indeed a possibility. Okay. I would like to thank you for helping us shed light on what happened last night. To be honest, you are not the only suspect. I'm prepared to believe you were drugged. Our poor Elizabeth hid the stuff everywhere, and I could smell laudanum on you three yards away. So you knew it wasn't me from the start? We weren't sure. Louis, I am sorry, but everything points in the same direction. Magic. I only know one person on this island who might have had a big enough grudge against Elizabeth, who has no alibi, and whose behavior is, well, suspect. Not to mention dangerous. Tell me what happened before my arrival. I think I've been patient enough. You don't need us for any of this. So come along, Monsieur Peru. We are leaving. Right. Oh, it's time we spoke okay. about your mother, Louis. Elle n'a pas disparu. She isn't missing, you know. What? what? What do you mean? My mother has left traces in every nook and cranny of your island, my lord. She's definitely here. Now, what worries me most is why she doesn't show herself. That doesn't make me feel any better, Louis. What was the official reason why my mother came to your island? I knew about your mother's activities and yours in the Golden Order. I thought we had everything to gain by working together. You mean the cannon deal with Monsieur Bonaparte? Among others, yes. How did you hear about that? Monsieur Bonaparte came to speak to me about it yesterday, during lunch. I see. So impetuous. He was supposed to let me speak to you about it first. Our friend Napoleon desperately needed financial backing to properly equip his army. I took it upon myself to back him because I have a firm conviction that he can go far. We shall see. However, there's one thing that surprises me. Ma mère vendait des armes, pourquoi aider le lieutenant Bah en fait, on aimerait bien parce que nous on nous a pas dit encore ce que c'était que l'ordre doré hein. Did my mother intend to finance a war I'm not sure that I follow. No, your mother's aim was not so much to partake in a war, but rather to make Monsieur Bonaparte accountable. France is in turmoil, and having the support of a military man can often come in handy, Louis. You'll see. Once this deal was closed, I had big plans for Sarah. Such as what? You see, I've invited several influential figures on my island to present them with a project at the conference. It will be presented later today. I thought that the Golden Order had a role to play, and I still think so. I was hoping Sarah would be able to join us. Hmm. I see. Indeed, if by chance your mother decided not to return to us before the conference, would you do me the great honor of attending? If only to follow the deliberations while waiting for her to duly take her seat. Why not? We shall see. Ah, thank you so much. In this way, you will be able to keep your mother informed of what he said. Um, okay. there's something else I'd like to briefly go over. Earlier, you asked me the official reason for your mother's presence here. Is there an off-the-record reason why your mother came here? Ah, bah, je serais tenté de dire aller chercher un acheteur. She... She was looking for someone. What, what, what do you mean? In Paris. We were working on a smuggling case to do with occult objects. We had just arrested a dealer who intended to go to you to meet a buyer. My mother was here to find out to whom he intended to sell his stolen treasure. Oh. Uh, what was the name of your dealer? Oh. Oh, merde, putain. Alors, pas vendre brebis, vendre brochet ou vendre brochet ah putain de merde Ah une chance sur deux Une chance sur deux Van Brochet Van Brochet Van Brochet 
Von, von Rocher. If I'm not mistaken, the dealer was called Von Rocher? The name means nothing to me. There's something I still don't get. In your opinion, why would your mother remain in hiding over several weeks? Ah. Her not coming back to the manor after so long makes me wonder if she is wary of someone. Well, certainly. But whom? The only ones who were present during her stay were Sir Gregory, Duchess Hillsborough, Mr. Von Volner, and myself. He m'a l'air louche quand même. Faut pas, faut pas que je l'en dise trop. You forget Elizabeth Adams, my lord. That's true. But Gregory and I arranged it so that they wouldn't run into each other. I, I thought it had worked. Do you think that your mother felt she was in danger because of Elizabeth? It's possible. The only thing I can tell you is that Sarah had indeed changed. At the beginning of her stay here, we enjoyed spending time together, solving the world's problems. You seem to know my mother very well, my lord. What did you talk about together? Oh, as soon as we had a little free time, we liked to share points of view about practically any subject. We would find ourselves embarked on interminable discussions that could go from Monsieur Blanchard's flight in a hot air balloon to the Treaty of Jesse, or the adoption of the metric system in France last year, or even Mr. Eli Whitney's invention in the United States. Ah, ah j'aurais dû prendre la culture là-dessus du coup. Euh, dans les journaux. My mother must have undoubtedly taken great pleasure in these exchanges. She always was one to appreciate broadening her knowledge. I'm surprised she didn't get you started on the crusades. It was her favorite subject. Huh, are you joking? Sarah and I spent entire days together reliving them. It so happens that the crusades are also my subject of predilection, especially the third. My ancestor distinguished himself brilliantly during the siege of Saint Jean d'Acre. Ah putain! Unfortunately, my lord, the Crusades are not my chosen field. Well, it doesn't matter. You have plenty of time to learn. Your mother is a very well read woman. You're quite lucky to have her as a model. Yes, I know, but I'm still very worried. I must admit, there are worse things to worry about now, Louis. Uh, what do you mean? Since she disappeared, your mother has been seen once. Her behavior on the evening of your arrival greatly surprised Gregory and myself. She resurfaced to attack Emma, Emily Hillsborough's twin sister. And... She shot her with a pistol. Oh, la vision. Then, before Gregory could intervene, she ran off and disappeared again. C'est la vision qu'on a eu, la vision. La vision qu'on a eu, c'était pas, euh, c'était pas la duchesse, c'était sa sœur. Who knew my mother? But she playing it, goddamn it. That means my vision on the wharf. It, it was actually happening inside the manor. Mother shot Emily's sister, the very person she came looking for. Why would she do that? Excuse me, but between that and the childhood of Lady Adams, it's. It's all a bit much for me to cope with. I need to piece it all together again to see things. Why not me? It's really not clear. You said coup. that you spent a lot of time talking together at the beginning. What happened for that to change? I'm afraid I, I haven't much to tell you. The more the days went by, the more she withdrew into herself. She never gave me an explanation until the day came when she purely and simply disappeared. Where? Where did she go when she wanted to be alone? She would shut herself away in a room we use as a box room upstairs. W yeah. Would you allow me to go there? Naturally, Louis, of course. I'll send you a servant to open it. Thank you. 
That's all I can tell you about the disappearance of your mother, Louis. I would like to have been more helpful. I shall stay on her trail and follow up any leads. Thank you. Uh, we will meet uh, later on to welcome our last guest. In the meantime, I shall get someone to open the box room upstairs for you. Thank you. Il nous reste trois losanges. Hmm. The room is just opposite Mortimer's study. Ok. Donc là, c'était la chambre de Mortimer. Donc en gros, en face, ça doit être celle-là. Je suppose. Je suis beau que ça doit être celle-là. Ok. C'était bien celle-là. Alors. Notre mère venait ici. Pièce de collection. Ok. Alors, à quoi Merde. Ah, je me cours à chaque fois. À quoi servent les pièces de collection On ne sait pas. Ok, très bien. On ne sait pas. Euh, ok, je suppose qu'ici ça s'ouvre. Alors, attends. Attends, attends, attends. Faut qu'on trouve un, un maximum d'indices. Donc, ce qu'on va faire, c'est qu'on va vraiment inspecter toute la pièce avant de rentrer. Parce qu'on sait jamais s'il y a une cinématique qui nous annule le truc. De l'eau de mélisse. Ok, parfait. Saint Paul, la route de Damascus, le Caravaggio. Caravaggio attained a magnificent command of black and the play of colors too. Paul facing an ordeal, the curtains of his illusions being raised, and receives the light from his savior. Ok, donc on a un tableau qui pourrait. Euh Remémorer peut-être des souvenirs à ma mère ou je sais pas. Pas de balcon. Ah, je suis désolé parce que je, je continue à galérer avec la cam. Hein. Vraiment, ce, les, les, la, la manette, je suis vraiment pas habitué à jouer avec une manette. Ah, mais j'ai pris des sciences, non ah mais j'ai moins un. Ah j'ai plus un. Merde c'est vrai que j'ai j'ai des malus. C'est vrai que j'ai des malus. Putain faut que je fasse gaffe à ça. Hein. Dante's Paradise. Raise your head and be reassured. For what comes up here from the mortal world must ripen in our rays. Ok donc Dante. Le poète. Alors ici. C'est pas un petit bouquin qui pourrait nous aiguiller. Je suis vraiment pas à l'aise. Mais la, 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 alors pour le plus gros défaut du jeu, je trouve, c'est vraiment la caméra. La caméra, elle est juste horrible. Okay, on a trouvé des trucs. She says we must find a safer way to communicate. Someone is on to us. Trust in my faith in the man with the sword. So mother had an accomplice here. Who could it be? Who could she be suspicious of? I must find the next part. Faith, sword. I recognize her love of riddles there. On doit trouver un moyen plus sûr d'échanger. Quelqu'un est sur nos traces. Fiez-vous, ma foi. Fiez-vous à ma foi en l'homme à l'épée. Alors, un homme à l'épée, on en a vu un. Hein. Ah merde. Ah, j'ai un troll. Je pensais que c'était autre chose parce que je pensais qu'on avait pris la note. Hey, I recognize my mother's handwriting. 
My bad. Euh, le seul truc à l'épée qu'on a vu, c'était euh, à la gorgogne. Euh, le mec à l'épée. Alors, est-ce qu'il n'y aurait pas un tableau avec un gars avec une épée Faudrait qu'on regarde. Ok. Euh, on va non, parce que là, je viens de sacrément troll. Alors, hop. Oh là là, la cam, putain, la cam, la cam. Ok. Bon. Alors, ok. J'ai l'impression qu'on a fait le tour des indices. À regarder le milieu, là, est-ce qu'il n'y aurait pas un petit truc, vite fait, là Non. Apparemment, non. Ok. Ça, c'est Dante. Très bien. Ici, on a un tableau avec euh, un gars avec une épée, je crois. Et merci euh, pour le follow. Merci pour le follow. À la news, merci pour le follow. Il a pas une épée, lui, hein. Il a pas d'épée. Non, il n'y a, y a pas, y a, y a pas d'épée. Il a pas d'épée, du coup. On va aller dans l'autre salle. Voir si on peut pas y trouver un indice. Door appears to be locked on the other side. Ok, la porte a été fermée. Fais quoi si on force I think I heard something fall to the ground. A metallic sound, like, like a key falling to the floor. On va prendre. Euh... Ah. Petite perte de. Une petite perte de FPS là. Ah, ok, c'est pas style, que pas ça. Qui est pas ça, qui est pas ça. Porqué, porqué te bas. Porqué te bas. Hop. Hop. Ok. La porte était fermée de l'intérieur. Mère aurait-elle prévu un dispositif à portée de main pour récupérer je vais avoir besoin de quelque chose pour récupérer la clé. La porte était fermée de l'intérieur. Mère a-t-elle prévu un dispositif à portée de main Ok, d'accord. Pardon, excusez-moi. Euh... Utilisez le disque. Ok. Pas trop compris ce que c'était le disque du coup. It's open. Ok, c'est ouvert. Donc ça veut dire que s'il y a un dispositif pour ouvrir cette porte, ça veut dire que ça cache quelque chose. Hein. Très clairement, ça veut dire que ça cache quelque chose. Alors, donc, Saint Paul est shown holding a sword. Ok. Strange. There's hardly any dust, as if the painting has been cleaned recently. There's a small inscription engraved on the frame. Let's take a closer look. This is how Paul spoke to his pilgrims from Rome. Just above that, someone's written down the figure 11 on the painting and underlined it twice. No, what does that mean? Le chiffre 11. So we have the figure 11 twice underlined and a story of a group of pilgrims who it looks like Paul is speaking to. Maybe it's a code. There, there must be a connection. The text on Paul must be somewhere and it must be associated with the figure 11. But 
What's the story with these pilgrims? I mean, a connection with the figure, maybe? What's that? Chiffre 11. On se pèlera. Je sais pas. Là, il y a un lit. Le lit qui n'a pas été occupé, vu qu'il n'y a pas de couverture, il n'y a pas quoi que ce soit. Amber crystals. Ok, un fragment de cristal, très bien. Painting of Saint Mark from the collection of the apostles by Guido Rini. Painting of Saint Mark. Ok, je pensais qu'il y aurait plus. Je pensais qu'il allait Rini. nous donner plus, mais non, pas du tout. On va partir. On va prendre ça. Several portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Rini. It looks like someone touched this commode recently. Their fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. Tu veux pas les enlever C'est juste des cadres Si c'est juste des cadres, euh, ok, c'est pas intéressant. C'est juste des cadres. Sophistra. Saint John, painted by Guido Rini. Et bon, il y, y, y a des seins en gros qui, sont, qui ont été dessinés. Il n'y a pas de balcon. The New Testament. Nouveau Testament. Nouveau Testament. This book is incredibly precious. I believe this is the book my mother referred to when calling upon the Lord. Oh. oh là là, on va vraiment lire tous les évangiles selon saint truc, selon saint machin. I guess I'll just come back later. Oh ouais, non, parce que bon, la Bible, ça va quoi, deux secondes. Euh, on va pas lire toute la Bible quoi. L'apôtre Matthieu. He's represented as writing the word of the Lord, transmitted by the Holy Spirit, who appears here in the guise of an angel. Okay. A chest with the occult symbol. Un coffre avec le symbole air. occulte représentant l'air. Okay, on pouvait utiliser la poignée de droite. Je sais pas pourquoi j'ai pas pu l'utiliser. Euh... Ok, il n'y a rien en haut. Je crois qu'il va falloir lire tout le livre. Hein. Il va falloir lire toute la Bible là. Enfin, au moins tous les passages demandés quoi. Tellement long que ça va être. Bon. Bah écoute, let's go hein. Évangile et actes des apôtres. Évangile selon Saint Marc, selon Saint, Jean, Saint Luc. Au secours. Ah mais putain, non, en gros, il y a toute la Bible, ok, d'accord. Donc, euh, en gros, non, c'est mort. Il faut, faut un autre... Euh, à, faut, à, en gros, il faut réfléchir à ce qu'on a eu. Donc, il faut réfléchir à ce qu'on a eu. Donc, en gros... I guess I'll just come attends, je vais back arrêter de lire. En gros, je, sais ce je pense savoir ce qu'il faut faire. C'est Par exemple, là, c'est qui on a dit que c'était qui On a dit que c'était... Un dessin de l'apôtre Matthieu. Ok. Donc je suppose que l'apôtre Matthieu, on va pouvoir le lire, logiquement. Ah, attends, je crois que je viens de comprendre. Je crois que je viens de comprendre. Je crois que je viens de comprendre. Attends, c'est qui lui Lui, c'est... Saint Paul. Les quatre apôtres présentés dans cette pièce, Paul est le seul à ne pas être évangéliste. Il est le treizième apôtre. Il 
du coup... Pourquoi le chiffre 11 Pourquoi le chiffre 11 Pourquoi le chiffre 11 Merde, attends, on a dit que c'était qui Putain, Saint-Paul, je crois. Merde, attends, je sais plus. Saint Paul painted by Saint Paul. C'est Saint Paul. Saint Paul. Du coup, faut qu'on regarde à Saint Paul. Épître Paul, Épître Paul 2. Ah. 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ah, et, et puis des épreuves, et puis des philippiens, des éphésiens, des teslanociens. Putain, je sais pas du tout ce que c'est. Épître aux Romains, épître aux Corinthiens, épître aux Galates, épître aux Corinthiens 2. L'homme à l'épée. Va falloir, euh, ouais, va falloir regarder tout, 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 tous les trucs de Paul. Ah, oh, verset, oh verset, attends 11, verset 11. Attends, c'est le chiffre 11 qui a été aligné. Chapitre 11, verset 11. Merde, attends, j'avais cliqué où I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid, but rather through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles, for to provoke them to jealousy. Oh wait, a note from Mother is carefully folded between the pages. Voilà, j'en étais sûr. Double 11, souligné deux fois, donc acte 11, partie 11. I was afraid the code of the two groups of pilgrims would mislead you. Pick up the package. You know where, and hide it where no one will find it. It's imperative, awaiting your reply, hidden behind the youngest apostle. What? The youngest apostle? What does mother mean by that? Le plus jeune des apôtres. Nous devons trouver un moyen plus sûr d'échanger quelqu'un et sur nos traces. Fiez-vous, fiez-vous à ma foi en l'homme épée. Épître Paul 1, 2, 1 2, Épître aux Romains, chapitre 11, verset 11. Heureuse que vous ayez trouvé cette note, j'ai peur que le code des deux groupes de pèlerins ne vous déroute. Récupérez le livre où vous savez et cachez-le où personne ne le trouvera, c'est impératif. J'attends votre réponse. Cachez derrière le plus jeune des apôtres. C'est qui le plus jeune des apôtres Qu'est-ce que j'en ai à... Qu'est-ce que j'en sais frère Bah lui il, a pas... lui il a une barbe, lui il a une barbe. Lui il a une barbe, lui il a pas de barbe. Donc c'est là. Voilà, il ne porte pas de barbe. Saint Jean est le seul apôtre pas guéri qui ne porte pas de barbe. Donc il est plus jeune, logiquement. Ouais, voilà, je suis un monstre. Juste un monstre. This painting is therefore associated with the answer which he had to give to my mother. Now, I just need to know how to recover the answer. The painting looks like it's been taken down recently. But wasn't my mother said? She would wait for an answer hidden behind the apostle. Ah, of course. There's something written behind the painting. On the second day, the pilgrims will listen to the prophecy of the young apostle. They shall add one companion to their left and three to their right to complete their reign. Wow, c'est tellement dur. Wow, c'est tellement dur. C'est tellement dur, gros. Plus ce truc, la, la religion et tout, je, 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 je ne sais rien du tout. They should add a companion to their left and three to their right to complete their ranks. I imagine it applies to their code, the one mother set up with the pilgrims. What's this? The group of pilgrims who Paul was talking to, and now John is telling them prophecies?
Nous devons trouver un moyen plus sûr d'échanger. Quelqu'un est sur notre race. Fiez-vous ma... Fiez à ma foi en l'homme à l'épée. Épître Paul, 1, 1 verset 2. Épître aux Romains, chapitre 11, verset 11. Euh, heureuse que vous ayez trouvé cette note. J'ai peur que le code... J'avais peur que le code des deux, des deux groupes de pèlerins ne vous déroute. Récupérez le livre où vous savez et cachez-le où personne ne le trouvera. C'est impératif. J'attends votre réponse cachée derrière le plus jeune des apôtres. should add a companion to their left and three to their right to complete their ranks. I imagine it applies to their code, the one mother set up with the pilgrims. What's this? The group of pilgrims who Paul was talking to and now John is telling them prophecies? On the second day, the pilgrims will listen to the prophecy of the young apostle. They shall add one companion to their left and three to their right to complete their rank. What does it mean? Oh, frère, j'ai le cerveau qui surchauffe là. Non, merde. Ces gens, c'est qui déjà Je me rappelle plus. Il faut que je regarde Évangile selon Saint Jean, en fait. Verset 2. Attendez, parce que j'ai entendu un bruit Windows là, je sais pas ce que c'était. Ok, pas grand chose. Ok, je vois. Pardon, excusez-moi. Euh... Putain, gros, attends, j'ai le cerveau qui surchauffe là. Évangile selon Saint Luc, selon Saint Marc, selon Saint Matthieu, selon Saint Jean. La vérité voudrait que j'aille à l'évangile selon Saint Jean. Il faudrait qu'il s'entoure de... Deux à droite. Non, de 1 à sa droite et de 3 sur sa gauche. En gros, ça veut dire qu'ils sont 5. Donc chapitre 5. Logiquement, dans la logique des choses. Now, there is a Jerusalem by the sheep market, a pool which is called in the Hebrew tongue, Bethesda, having five porches. Cinq portiques. Non C'est pas ça There is none that understandeth. There is none that seeketh after God. Ah, Épître Saint, Épître Paul, Épître Paul. Trois deux. This only would I learn of you. Receive ye the spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. Non. Parce que j'étais là, 3 et 2, ça fait 5. Ah L'Apocalypse de Jean, Jean. Oh putain. Deux versets. Alors attends, c'est peut-être l'Apocalypse de Jean.
Vous récupérez le livre où vous, a... où vous savez et cachez-le là où personne ne le retrouvera. C'est impératif. J'attends votre réponse. Et j'attends votre réponse cachée derrière le plus jeune des apôtres. Il y a un truc à faire. Ah, il y a un truc à faire avec cette putain de Bible, mais. Several portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Vini. It looks like someone touched this commode recently. There are fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. Saint Paul painted by Guido Reni. So we have the figure 11 non, ok. Bon, le, ce tableau-là ne sert plus à rien. Ce tableau-là ne sert plus à rien, c'était le début. Paul est parlé. Peut-être que c'est un code. Il doit y avoir une connexion. Un texte de Paul doit être quelque part. Et il doit être associé avec la figure 11. Bon, le, le double 11, on l'a trouvé. Qu'est-ce que c'est avec ces pilgrims Une connexion avec la figure, peut-être Le chiffre 11, on l'a trouvé. Mais du coup, putain de bordel de merde. They should add a companion to their left and three to their right to complete their ranks. I imagine it applies to their code, the one mother set up with the pilgrims. What's this? The group of pilgrims who Paul was talking to, and now John is telling them prophecies? Putain, c'est trop dur, gros. Parce qu'en plus, j'ai pas tout compris. C'est ça le pire, c'est que j'ai pas non plus tout compris. Saint Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. Ah, attends Saint Paul. Deux représentations du même saint. Mais oui, bien sûr. Saint Paul is the only saint to be presented twice in these paintings, contrary to the other apostles. How come? Oh, me dis pas que c'est tout. Ah oh, putain, c'est tout. Caravaggio attained a magnificent command of black and the play of colors too. Okay, faut qu'on analyse Paul le cadre. The, deal, the curtains of his illusions being raised and receives the light from his savior. Ah, mais en gros là c'est la prophétie. Ben oui, bien sûr. En gros c'est la prophétie qui a été racontée, qui s'est en train de se passer. Hanging here for a long time. A lot of dust is built up on it. Or a finger has drawn a number in the thin layer of dust. I can read the number four. Hum. Faut lire le nombre 4. On peut lire le nombre 4. This painting has been hanging here for a long time. A lot of dust is built up on it. Well, a finger has drawn a number in the thin layer of dust. I can read the number 4. Putain, j'aurais bien aimé être euh, du coup euh, euh, cultivé parce que putain, vu que j'ai pas le trait cultivé et j'ai pas le, j'ai pas, j'ai pas la version de Saint, je connais pas du tout Saint Paul, je connais pas du tout Saint Paul. Chiffre 4, ici. La chiffre 4. La chiffre. Putain, il y a tellement de chiffres 4. Là, il n'y en a pas. Chiffre 4. In the lustful desire, even as the Gentiles who knew not God. Pas ça. In him, God has chosen us before the foundation of the world. That we may be holy and blameless before him c'est pas ça non plus Putain. 
Ah, je me perds en plus dans les noms des, des, des trucs et tout. C'est quoi déjà ce tableau C'est Saint-Paul. C'est Saint-Paul. Là, c'est Saint-Paul. C'est pas Jean. Jean, c'est le jeune. Saint-Paul, c'est le vieux. Merde, j'ai voulu écrire. Forcément qu'il y a la réponse dans la Bible. Forcément qu'il y a la réponse dans la Bible. Saint Paul. Saint Paul est là. Jean. Chapitre 4. Hereby know that we dwell in him, and he in us, because he hath given us of his spirit. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Évangile selon Saint Jean. Pas de chiffre 4. Pas de chiffre 4. Mais non. Et il aurait mangé, mais pendant qu'ils étaient prêts, il est tombé dans une transe. Hey, il y a une note ici. Un message de la mère et une réponse à E. Nous devons partir urgentement. Mais d'abord, je dois absolument aller au-delà de la nuit. Regardez pour Volner. Il a trouvé que je l'ai évité. A lay suspicion. See you tomorrow evening. Stand ready. For now, let's cease all communication until we meet. Take care of yourself. I suppose this must be the last message. What happened afterward? If it's what I suspect, I, I fear the worst. What did Mother mean by I absolutely must go beyond the nightmare? I must go beyond the nightmare. What does she mean by that? Okay, j'ai full chat, hein. C'est probablement littéral ou c'est probablement allégorique. Littéral. Clearly, she must be trying to do something useful, but the what? The nightmare. Does that remind me of anything? Le cauchemar. Est-ce que ça me dit quelque chose? Un lieu. C'est un concept. Un objet. C'est un lieu. Must surely speak of a place. Granting that this is the case, where might it be found? Putain, j'ai l'impression de me gourer. Putain, j'ai pas envie d'user tout ça. J'ai pas assez. Une pièce au deuxième étage, l'extérieur du manoir, une pièce au premier étage, une pièce au rez-de-chaussée. Putain, un cauchemar. Putain. Ok, rez-de-chaussée, jardin. Premier étage, rez-de-chaussée, jardin, extérieur, souterrain. Souterrain, on n'a rien. Extérieur, on a le quai qui remonte. Ok. Jardin, on n'a on a rien. Rez-de-chaussée, donc on rentre par là. Rental de Zeus. Salle à manger. Bibliothèque. Galerie des portraits. Galerie des portraits, c'est là où on était tout à l'heure, je crois, avec la duchesse. Premier étage, donc c'est là où on est. Chambre d'Ada. La décoration de cette chambre radical... change radicalement des autres. Chambre d'Ada. D'Adam. 
Ja, dann. Ah, c'est la chambre, hein. Pour moi, c'est la chambre d'Adam, ça. C'est la chambre d'Elisabeth, hein. Chambre d'Adams. Thought it would have been over there, but something's telling me that it isn't. I better keep searching. Ah ouais? Mortimer's getting his guests together. I ought to join them so I don't look suspicious. Objet ajouté à l'inventaire. Putain, c'est tellement dur. de la Bible. Une note de mère trouvée dans la Bible de Guten Gutenberg. Elle dit « Il nous faut partir de toute urgence, mais je dois d'abord impérativement passer au-delà du cauchemar. » un peu le cerveau qui, qui surchauffe, là. Hein. Je vais pas mentir que là... Ah merde, ah putain, ah ouais, je me suis... J'aurais pu trouver la conversation entre ma mère et mon associé. Je n'ai pas compris le, le message de ma mère au sujet du cauchemar. Du coup, je ne monte pas de niveau. Politique, j'aimerais bien. Hein. Que j'utiliserai pas un truc pour enlever tous mes malus. Putain non, je peux pas, j'en ai pas. Fuck. It's time I went back and joined everyone in the small salon. Euh, le petit salon, il est où? Absolument pas là. Excusez-moi, mais là, euh, je suis un peu perdu là. Je pense qu'il va falloir que je lui parle à lui. You are expected in the small salon, sir. Il est où le petit salon, bordel de merde Je le connais le petit salon, on y est déjà allé Ah, ça doit être là, je suppose. Non, pas du tout. Putain, la musique qui fait flipper, gros. C'est Jacques Perru Non, c'est le truc de Jacques Perru. Merde, putain, c'est où le petit salon Allô
Ok, c'est bon. Emily, I must speak to you. What's the matter, Louis? I have news about your sister. What have you found out? Look, I've started piecing together the events leading up to my mother's disappearance and your sister's. D did my mother know about your secret? Yes, even though I belong to the English chapter, her rank in the order gives her access to a good deal of personal information. Must have been Emily I saw in my vision. I was given nice to understand that my mother and your sister bonded during their stay. J'ai cru comprendre que ma mère et votre sœur s'étaient rapprochées durant le, leur séjour. Putain, j'ai un plus un. I've got a question that might seem a little bit strange. I'm listening. If I said go beyond the nightmare, would that ring any bells? Mm. No, ah, shit. It means nothing to me. Do you mean literally or figuratively speaking? My mother used to talk about it, in the figurative sense, probably. We still need to understand what she was referring to, though. If I find something, I'll let you know. Should I speak to her about my vision? If what I saw is true, she might want to take revenge. Ah, non, mon pote, on dit rien. Better keep that to myself for the time being. Come, Louis. They're waiting for us. Oh, putain, c'est chaud quand même. Hein. C'est archi chaud. Hein. C'est archi chaud. You paid dearly, Peru. I'm sure you were involved somewhere along the line. That's right. Pretend you don't know. One piece of advice: don't travel through France on your way back, or it'll cost you dearly. Calm now, my friends. Let's calm down. Everyone seems to be a little unnecessarily heated. Don't forget where you are, please. What's going on here exactly? Sir Gregory called us together to introduce the last guest. But hardly had we arrived when he set upon Monsieur Peru. And what has Monsieur Peru done to once again provoke someone's anger? Uh, we don't really know just yet. I get the feeling it won't be long before it gets out. How could you dare do such a thing? Dios mio, you are all out of your minds! Really, Duke Manuel, what made you kick up such a fuss? What? Have you not heard? Well, let me inform you that yesterday morning at 10.22 a.m. precisely, in the middle of the Place de la Révolution in Paris, by decree of the National Convention which Monsieur Peru works for, King Louis was guillotined. What? Oh, no. The King of France is dead, gentlemen. Our monarchies are in danger. I have said it before. How dare they? Oh, dear. Oh, as if they could. Gracious. No, 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 no. Hmm. Friends, Ooh, let, 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 let us calm down. Don't pretend to be surprised. He got a fair trial. Ridiculous, bastard. He was sentenced to death by 361 votes to 360. You beheaded a king for one vote. Is that your democracy? What an obnoxious act. Until this, anything was possible. This political coup will have grave consequences. France is lost. Gentlemen, please, let us take a step back a moment. In the name of holiness. He was the highest representative of God in France, Emily. Non, je vais rien dire. Gentlemen, this news affects us all, but I must ask you to remain calm. It's not the first time history has taken us by surprise. Let's ensure that our respective countries are allowed to respond appropriately to this news. Oh, rest assured, the response will not fall short, my friend. Good for you. Well, Your Grace. Here I was, preparing to introduce you, as is proper, and you've beaten me to it. I'm delighted that we are all together at last. Our meeting will therefore be able to kick off shortly. I have just a few more little preparations to take care of before you all find out the reason for your presence here. In the meantime, I shall leave you to get to know one another. When you hear the bell, please proceed to the conclave room on my left. Behind that door. I'll see you later. Ok. 
Donc le roi de France est mort. Ce qui pourrait, dans, logiquement, dans l'histoire, ce qui va aider Napoléon Bonaparte. Hein. Jusque là, on est d'accord. Putain, on va nous demander un service. Bon, lui, il a peur de notre mère. I heard about your mother's disappearance. He looks concerned. I don't know why, but I doubt it's from sympathy alone. Well, let's see what he wants from me. Any news of her? Have you found her, maybe? Hear you speak, it sounds like you and my mother were close. Let's say I hold your mother in high esteem, yes. We were even planning to work together. That's what he was getting at. Uh, did she tell you about our arrangement? Absolutely, but I was hoping that you could tell me more about it. Well, she was planning to sell me a very old book. I will make no secret of the fact that I am passionate about the subject. And when Sarah spoke to me about it, her account literally had me enthralled. <laughs> I can think of nothing else since. Okay, un you might have come across some old books. In her belongings, La Bible. La Bible. Putain, j'ai plus de points. As my mother's got so many old books, uh, I'm afraid I won't be able to... Oh, it's easy. You, you can't mistake this one. It's an ancient grimoire, composed of seven parts. Each one is closed under lock and key. It was made in such a way that if someone tried to tamper with it, the sheets would be permanently tarnished. If you find it, you mustn't tamper with it. You see? But That's unusual. Unfortunately, that doesn't ring a bell. I'll look again, but I wouldn't get my hopes up. You seem very upset. Is it so important to you, this book? Well, it's, uh, it's the search of a lifetime. What can I say? Every time I move closer to it, it seems to slip away at the last minute. I was dope. very surprised to learn that your mother had it in her possession. I thought it was with a certain von Borchett in Paris. C'était von Borchett, putain, tout à l'heure. Tout à l'heure, il nous avait demandé le nom. Il nous avait demandé le nom et c'est pas von, c'était pas von Brochet, c'était von Borchett. Putain, on s'est gouré. Waouh, putain, on s'est gouré, on s'est gouré. The name doesn't mean anything to me. I'm, I'm sorry to say. He's an expert in occult objects and books, and your mother. Putain, c'est un vent de brochet. Are you sure his name doesn't ring a bell? Ah oh, merde. Let me think. I shan't keep you, Monsieur de Richet. All right. Merde, putain, j'avais. I hope that your search will prove successful. And bring Sarah back to us soon. I must go now. I'll see you later. Putain, c'est trop trop dur. Putain, gros. C'est tellement dur. De, de tout suivre et tout, c'est tellement dur. 
there's a pattern with five circles on this chest. Okay. Pas de clé, très bien. Chronicles of the Amber Princes, as I recall, Dorkin was my favorite character. On peut rien faire. Ah putain, ça fait vraiment chier. J'aimerais bien pouvoir retourner dans ma chambre pour euh, pouvoir piocher dans le coffre et pouvoir prendre euh, pour pouvoir prendre euh, ah des trucs euh, orange là qui me redonnent des points. Monsieur Bonaparte, may I speak with you a moment? May we? Would you have any more information about the comforts Lord Mortimer spoke of? Nothing at all. Mortimer is very committed to secrecy when it comes to his conferences. But given the presence of Monsieur Peru and ourselves, I think it must concern France to some extent. Otherwise, I doubt he would have invited three Frenchmen to his table, huh? Does expression go beyond the nightmare mean anything to you at all? Well, metaphorically, yes. It sums up the career of a soldier quite ah. well. I doubt that is what you want to hear, though. Indeed. That's surely not what I'm looking for. Well, monsieur, oh, eh? if you are looking for a phrase book, Lord Mortimer must surely have one, given the number of books he has. You ought to check in the library of the tower. You never know. What do you think of Duke Godoy? Well, I'd rather not express any opinion of him. Why is that? His reputation is enough for me. Meaning? This gentleman enjoys people talking about him for too many reasons. His undeserved titles, more than ten in just four years, and each one more prestigious than the one before. You don't think he deserves them? If I had seen him on the battlefield, there might be some doubt. But that is not the case. The Queen would rather not risk losing him, so she consoles him with awards and titles. So you don't have a very positive opinion? His coveting French Catalonia does not encourage me to have one. I understand your point of view. Well, I'll be leaving you now. Shall we meet up again later? Uh, wait, monsieur. Any news of your mother? Unfortunately not, no. I hope to speak with her about my deal before I leave. Let me know if you find her. <sighs> A plus tard, monsieur. Euh, faut qu'on aille à la bibliothèque du coup. Je pense qu'il faut qu'on aille à la bibliothèque. Donc on va aller là-bas. Allez, c'est parti. Donc on quitte. Hop, c'est tout droit. Elle est tellement dure cette affaire quand même. Et en fait, il y a trop d'informations. Well, thank you for your time. Don't mention it, my young friend. Euh, C'était un peu con, hein. A Greek drachma, one of the rare ancient coins to be mentioned both in the Bible and in the Quran. Bon. Alors on va parler au, au président. Go beyond the nightmare. Does this line remind you of anything in particular? You caught me unaware here, Louis. Let me think about it a second. No, nothing comes to mind. 
Sorry, Louis, but I am unable to help you. Well, thank you for your time. Don't mention it, my young friend. Regarding your question on the nightmare, don't hesitate to question the others about bah it. Oui, ce que Maybe one of them knows more than I do. Ce que That's je vais a faire. good idea. Thank you once again. Ce que je vais faire en allant à la bibliothèque. Ce que je vais faire en allant à la bibliothèque. Mais c'est vrai qu'à la bibliothèque, il y a une possibilité que j'y trouve des trucs. Discourse on the method by Descartes. This book changed the way I looked at the world. Circe preparing wine. What better trap for Ulysses? On fouille un peu. Même si c'est pas très. Euh... T'aimerais qu'on trouve quelque chose ici. On va à la bibliothèque. Ah, Louis. Just the man. Good lord. How did the king come to be executed? I would think that the order would have intervened. Your Eminence, I'm sorry for King Louis, but he did everything to put himself there. Louis, how can you say such a thing? Even if France rejects the church, you don't go and behead a person of high status. They always serve our cause better alive than dead. Politically, it's absurd. I invite you to speak about it with my mother as soon as she reappears. Uh, is there any news of her? I... Well, I hope it won't be long before I Putain, find her. Un malus. Now you wanted Fuck. to speak to me. If I say the nightmare to you, does it make... You think of anything? Hmm. Your question is strange, my son. Difficult to say. Could you at least tell me a little more about the context? Ah! Think of a place and tell me the first thing that comes into your mind when I say the nightmare. Hmm. Uh, let me think. I'd say uh, Lord Mortimer's favorite painting on the wall behind his desk. You know, that painting caused quite a stir when it was exhibited. It is titled The Nightmare, and it shows a woman lying down with a creature sitting. Background, a horse. <laughs> I don't know if it will be of any help, but I can't think of anything else. You never know. Thank you for that, though, Your Eminence. Okay, on a bien fait. Je pense qu'on a bien fait d'utiliser ce petit point là. Case, Thank you for everything. Je pense qu'on a bien fait d'utiliser ce I petit point. I take up any more of your time. You are welcome, my son. I will be seeing. On va continuer à la, à la, à la bibliothèque. A swine in a salon. That's an odd choice of decor. Ah bah non. Du coup, faut qu'on aille dans le bureau de Mortimer. Donc, le bureau de Mortimer, faut retourner là-bas. Faut monter là. Ça craque et tout. Mais il y a une ambiance un peu glauque hein, quand même. Qu'est-ce par là je crois Ouais. Rendez-vous dans le bureau de Mortimer. What do you want, Louis? Ah mais non, elle je lui ai demandé déjà. Non, c'est vrai que elle je lui ai demandé. I have things to do. Thank you again, madam. C'est vrai que je lui ai demandé déjà pour le cauchemar, elle m'a dit qu'elle en savait rien. <coughs> 